Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday so it is meal prep Day. I have three fantastic kick the new year off right recipes. We have breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat that Troy, my husband, actually picked out for the week that turned out absolutely incredible. I can't wait to share all three recipes with you. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Kind of lets me know to keep putting out these meal preps as we move into the new year. And also, if you are not yet subscribed or you're new, welcome, welcome. We'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. That way you're just notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Down in the description box, you're going to find my brand new 2021 custom calendar. Customize it just to you to help you reach your goals in the new year. Definitely pick one up. It's $15 free shipping within the United States. If you're outside of the United States, in the description box is my email. Just shoot me an email and I'll give you the added cost for shipping. But definitely pick one up. Game changer for the new year. You'll also find links, discount codes to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized macros and calories, which is essential as well. Moving into the new year, take it advantage of that service as well as individual support in 30 or 60 minute coaching sessions. So a little bit of everything over on my nutrition website. Last but not least is my Facebook group. Also head on over and join us there. Of course, we'd love to have you be part of that amazing supportive community as well. So we have three fantastic recipes this week. So let's jump in. For breakfast this week, we're making crustless breakfast quiche muffins. So we're taking quiche and muffins, throwing them into one. These are going to be so incredibly delicious. So let me show you what's in our breakfast recipe. First, you're going to need some almond milk. You could also use fat-free or low-fat milk. Bisquick Heart Smart Pancake and Baking Mix. If you do opt to use another pancake mix, just recalculate your points. Make sure they wind up to be the same because this one is a little less calories than a lot of the other traditional baking mixes. Sausage of your choice. I originally was going to use the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles, but they did not have them. So I picked up this chicken and sage sausage. My amount that I'm using does not change the points from if I would have used Jimmy Dean, but I think that would be a little bit easier because they're already small crumbled pieces, but use whatever sausage you prefer. You'll need some eggs and some light shredded cheese. So let's make some breakfast. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my sausage. So I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized pieces to go into the muffins. Sausage is all chopped up and ready to go. So to start our muffins, we're going to go ahead and crack our three eggs into our bowl and then season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. Stir that up, get that whisked together until it's nice and combined and that salt and pepper is mixed in really well. We're now going to add in one and a half cups of almond milk or whatever milk you chose to use for your muffins. And then we're also going to add in our half of a cup of the Bisquick Heart Smart Baking Mix. Give that a good stir. We are going to spray our muffin tin really well with some nonstick spray. We just don't want these to stick. I went ahead and grabbed out the one third cup and I'm going to just add the egg and flour mixture evenly to all 12 compartments of my muffin tin. We are then going to divide the sausage evenly, all 12 of the compartments, and then top it with a little bit of cheese. I have half of a cup of cheese total, and I'll just divide that evenly among all 12 of the quiche muffins. Look at how delicious these look. These look 
really, really good. So what I'm going to do is pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. The quiche muffins are out. Look at how delicious these look. You can see the sausage, the cheese, the biscuit texture. These look absolutely amazing. So I'm going to let these cool for a couple of minutes. I'll pop them out. We'll go over points and calories and what I'm going to pair them with for breakfast. Here are the muffins. Don't these look delicious? It's the pairing of quiche and muffins together it makes these absolutely incredible. They are only two smart points per muffin on both the blue and purple plan and three smart points per muffin on the green plan. 80 calories. So my plan is to have two of these along with some fruit and maybe some Canadian bacon or something for that little extra punch of protein or yogurt. But that's my breakfast, you guys. Two smart points a piece. You can't beat it. You're getting sausage and eggs and that yummy biscuit texture. Highly recommend this recipe. So I'm just going to store them here in this little container in the refrigerator and then I just warm them up either in the microwave or in my air fryer each morning for breakfast. For my lunch this week, I'm making a one pot, which I love that idea. One pot, one pot cleanup. Yes, please. This is a creamy French onion chicken pasta. So I'm going to get in some pasta for some fiber. I'm going to get in some chicken for some protein. And this is going to be a really well-rounded lunch. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, all-purpose flour, one large box of beef broth, light shredded cheese, brown sugar alternative. I highly recommend the Lakanto Monk Fruit Golden. It's the best, it tastes the most realistic, like real brown sugar, zero calories, zero points. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you. So you can pick up all the Lakanto products at a discount. You're going to also need, of course, some boneless, skinless chicken breast light butter. The recipe calls for white wine, but I'm going to use up what I have in my pantry. So I have a little bit of the Marsala wine left and red wine. Oh, that's vinegar. Let me swap that out. I actually do have just red wine or cooking wine. So I'm going to do a mix of the Marsala and the red wine. You'll need some half and half or fat free half and half. If you opt to go with full fat half and half like I am, just make sure that you mix that with a little bit of skim milk. For my pasta, of course, I'm using my Fiber Gourmet Light Penne Pasta. You guys know I love Fiber Gourmet. It is a complete game changer when it comes to calories and points. You can have two ounces of this pasta for only two smart points. Now, traditional pasta, five to six points. You can't beat it. But what's amazing about this pasta, besides how amazing it tastes and the texture, is it's 100 calories per serving versus 210 of traditional pasta. It has 25 grams of fiber. It is your fiber for the day in pasta. How great is that? Versus two grams of fiber in regular pasta. 17 net carbs versus 41 if you're someone watching your carbs. And seven grams of protein per two ounce serving. It is seriously a game changer. If you follow my channel, you know that this is the only pasta we buy. My husband and I both absolutely love it. I will link Nutrition down in the description box. That is the most affordable website to buy it on and they have all the shapes because it comes in penne, rotini, elbows, and a spaghetti noodle. So definitely check them out on the Nutrition website. You'll also need some Italian seasoning and a big yellow onion, salt and pepper, and then a pack of of sliced mushrooms or eight ounces of mushrooms. So let's make some pasta. I started a skillet with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and added my chicken breast. We are going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper and allow these to cook completely so that we can shred these up. We want shredded chicken in our pasta so we have to pre-cook the chicken first. Chicken is done and I just finished shredding it up. So I'm gonna pull out a big pot and we will start this one pot lunch. Into a large stock pot, add two tablespoons of light butter. Go ahead and let that melt. I went ahead and added in a sliced onion. That large onion, I just cut it really, really thin into slices. And then I'm going to sprinkle in half of a teaspoon of the Lakanto Golden, and we're going to let these onions cook down. Basically, we're doing a grilled onion. As my onions are cooking, I'm going to just sprinkle in just a little bit of salt. We're going to let these cook for about 15 minutes. Once your onions are sauteed down, we're going to add in eight ounces of sliced mushrooms and a big scoop of minced garlic. 
and we're going to allow this to saute and cook down another one to two minutes. Now we're going to add in a couple of tablespoons of all-purpose flour and we're just going to sprinkle that right over the top of the mushrooms and the onions. Stir that together and let it just kind of cook for about 30 more seconds. Next is one half of a cup of white wine, or in my case, I use the Marsala wine, and about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Give that another quick stir. We want the liquid to meld really well with the flour. That's what's going to really thicken up the sauce of our pasta dish. I added in the shredded chicken. Now I'm going to add the entire box of beef broth, which is four cups. And then I'm going to add in my bag of pasta. That's what I love about this dish. It's all one pan. You don't even have to pre-cook your pasta. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add in a little bit of Italian seasoning. We are going to bring this to a boil and allow it to cook until the pasta is cooked through. Fiber gourmet generally cooks a little bit faster than traditional pasta, but we just wanna make sure the pasta is cooked all the way through. Once the pasta is cooked through, we're going to add in our cheese and our one half of a cup of half and half mixed with low fat milk or fat free half and half, whatever it is that you're using. Go ahead and give that a stir. We're going to let it simmer on the stove for just a couple of minutes. We really just want those flavors to meld and then we'll divide this out and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my lunch. This is a big bowl of pasta. What I'm going to do is pair this with a fruit and possibly another vegetable, but this is a lot. This is a very large meal prep bowl and it is over halfway full with pasta and it smells so good. So the calories on this is 349 calories, which is not bad for pasta. And you're getting a punch of protein with the chicken and the fiber from the fiber gourmet pasta. It is eight points on the green plan, seven on the blue plan. And if you decide to use a zero point pasta on purple, it would be three. If you use fiber gourmet on purple, it's the same as blue at seven smart points. So this is my lunch, you guys, and I couldn't be more excited for pasta. For this week's sweet, WW-friendly, calorie-friendly treat, we're making edible cookie dough. I don't know about you, but I always eat the raw cookie dough, whether it's good for you or not, so I'm excited to have something on hand that's good for you and safe to eat. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need all-purpose flour, light brown sugar, fat-free, low-fat milk, or almond milk, whatever your preference is. We're using a very, very small amount, light butter, chocolate chips. I'm using the Lakanto. You guys, these are so good. I like these much better than Lily's. I think they have a much sweeter, more authentic chocolate chip taste. Again, Lakanto is linked down below with 15% off for you guys. You can pick up all your monk fruit favorites on their website, including these chocolate chips. And last but not least, you're going to need some vanilla extract. So let's make some edible cookie dough. In a small bowl, we're going to cream together the butter, which has been softened. I've let it sit here out on the counter while I put together the ingredients and our three tablespoons of brown sugar. So go ahead and mix that up. You wanna make sure everything gets nice and creamed solidly together. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of almond milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we are going to stir again until that is fully incorporated. Into the mixture, I'm adding in my flour. Now we're, we put our flour in the microwave for 75 seconds. So make sure that you transfer it from a measuring cup to a microwave safe bowl. That essentially cooks the flour because if you didn't know, you're not supposed to eat raw flour. So by putting it in the microwave for 75 seconds kind of cooks the flour and makes it edible. So we're going to mix that in until a dough is formed. And lastly, we'll pop in those chocolate chips. Now now we're adding in our chocolate chips stir that together and we are going to put this in the refrigerator for 10 minutes before serving that will allow the mixture to firm up a little bit more to the consistency of cookie dough but 
this looks so good. The cookie dough is done. This is the perfect texture and consistency. So I'm actually going to store it in this bowl. The cookie dough makes 16 servings. You can also divide this by eight and make less servings and get a bigger, bigger amount of cookie dough per serving. So let's go over points and calories. One sixteenth of the recipe is only 36 calories. So not bad at all for cookie dough. As far as points go, it is one point per table spoon using the regular brown sugar or five points if you want to have a whole entire half of a cup of cookie dough. If you substituted a Lakanto brown sugar, lower the points a bit, you could actually have three tablespoons for two points or a quarter cup for only three smart points. So essentially the way that I prepared it into 16 servings, it is one point per tablespoon. Now, if I decided to divide this into eight servings, it bumps the calories up to 72. And for one serving, it would be three points. So just depending on how much cookie dough you want, but ooh, I am excited for this. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am for these recipes for the upcoming week. Every single recipe is absolutely delicious and I can't wait to have them for the entire week. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. And of course, if you're not yet part of my YouTube channel, I'd love to have you. Make sure that you do hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Don't forget about the description box for the custom 2021 calendar, macros, calories, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Another great community that is beneficial for you as we move into 2021. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and of course I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.